Five ways social media is harming you. The rise of social media has meant that people are more connected than we have ever been in the history of time. Social media has become an integral part of our lives. From sharing information to communicating with our loved ones, social media has made our life easier. However, just like any other thing, it also has a flip side. One that poses detrimental effect to our mental health and has the ability to make us feel vulnerable. While social media platforms can have their benefits, using them too frequently can make you feel increasingly unhappy and isolated in the long run. Whether you're sitting down, standing up or lying down, you've probably mindlessly scrolled through your social media feeds. Although seemingly a harmless habit, especially if you have a few minutes to spare, there may be health risks associated with social media use. Addiction is caused by social media too. With access to it any time of the day on our phones, it's easy to fall into the bad habit of checking it everywhere, during a meal, in class when a professor is talking, or even in bed when it's time to sleep. While you don't necessarily want or have to quit social media for good, but then if you feel like it's beginning to bulk you down, why not consider allocating social media free time slots during your daily routine? The slight change could do you a whole lot of good. Here are 5 ways that unhealthy social media use could be negatively affecting you without you even realizing. Welcome to another life changing video previewed by Think Rich Media. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so as not to miss out on any of our new videos. Number 1. Human Connection As human beings, it's so important for us to be able to communicate and forge personal connections with one another. However, it can be hard to do so when we're glued to rectangular screens, becoming more acquainted with our friends' digital facets than their real-life personas. Using social media can interrupt and interfere with in-person communications. You connect with people better in your life if you have certain times each day when your social media notifications are off or your phone is even in airplane mode. Commit to not checking social media during meals with family and friends and when playing with children or talking with a partner. Make sure social media doesn't interfere with work, distracting you from demanding projects and conversations with colleagues. WhatsApping or tweeting with a colleague can be engaging and fun, but then make sure that those interactions don't become a substitute for talking face to face. When used thoughtfully and deliberately, social media can be a useful addition to your social life, but only a flesh and blood person sitting across from you can fulfill the basic human need for connection and belonging. Number 2. Influencing Sleep Patterns Sleep and mental health are closely entwined, so it's no wonder that social media can affect your sleep patterns. In 2016, researchers found an association between heavy social media use and sleep disturbances, and the National Sleep Foundation warns that the ease of accessing social media might cut into the time you spend sleeping. Scrolling through social media accounts before bed probably isn't the best idea. Getting worked up with anxiety on envy from what we see on social media keeps the brain on high alert, preventing us from falling asleep. Plus, the lights from our mobile device just inches from our face can suppress the release of melatonin, a hormone that helps us feel tired and this thus interrupts our body's sleep time processes. Try setting yourself a strict rule of not going on your phone for at least 40 minutes to an hour before going to bed and see if that makes a difference to the quality of your sleep. In particular, don't keep your phone or computer in the bedroom, it disrupts your sleep. Number 3. Self-esteem Social media is all about showcasing the best side of yourself, so you hardly find anyone telling tales of misery. When people present themselves so nicely on the internet, their lives seem more interesting than your own. While this might not affect a grown-up as much, it can wreak havoc on a teenager's mind. And because people tend to post only a positive things that they experience or make light on the bad things with funny little anecdotes, it can appear to the reader that other people lead more exciting lives than they do. Unfortunately, what teens often do not realize is that people tend to only post their highlights real on social media and often keep their mundane or difficult experiences off the internet. As a result, another person's life may look perfect online, but offline they have struggles just like anyone else. Still, it is easy for a teen to play the comparison game and start thinking that everyone is happier or better off than they are. As a result, this can feed into depression, loneliness, anger and a variety of other issues. We all have our fair share of insecurities, some that we speak about openly and others that we prefer to keep to ourselves. 
However, comparing yourself to others on social media by stalking their aesthetically perfect Instagram photos or staying up to date with their relationship status on social media could do little to assuage your feelings of self-doubt. It is essential to understand that it is better to stop playing the comparison game as it can lead to low self-esteem and focus on yourself instead of trying to be like someone else. Dr. Tim Bono, author of When Likes Aren't Enough, explains in Healthy Star that when we drive a sense of worth based on how we are doing relative to others, we place a happiness in a variable that is completely beyond our control. So becoming more conscious of the amount of time you spend scrolling through other people's online profiles could help you focus more on yourself and boost your self-confidence. Number 4. Attention Span It is clear that social media is making a huge impact on society that is impossible to ignore. It impacts everyone whether they have social media or not. The impact intercedes into every aspect of life in one way or the other. But then, the way that the attention span of society has exponentially decreased is relevant to all. A recently published study found that the collective attention span of people across the globe has been narrowing over the years. The study also highlighted the effects of an increasingly digitalized lifestyle on our brains. It has been found that high levels of internet use can impact many different functions of the brain. For instance, the limitless prompts and streams of notifications on the web encourage us to constantly hold divided attention. Although this effect occurs across a wide arena, including web searches, movie popularity, books and so on, it's most pronounced in the area of social media, as this channel has the most potential to rapidly exhaust the individual's attention resources. While it's incredibly to consider the amount of information readily available at our fingertips thanks to social media, it also means that people have become far more easily distracted. It's not just your subconscious brain that you need to worry about, but also the extent to which your brain is able to fully concentrate when you're awake. It is visible that not only are students distracted by social media during class, but when the distraction is removed, attention is extremely difficult to gain and retain. This is greatly diminishing the effectiveness of a valuable and retainable education. For brands that want to get their message and products in front of their audiences, this presents a big problem of how to go about tapping into the potential power of Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and other social media networks in order to attract and hold the attention of your target audience and consumers. Number 5. It may interfere with your ability to think independently. Peer pressure is alive and well on social media, with adults as well as with teens, and what's interesting is that you may not even realize it's happening. Social media encourages groups of people connected to each other online to share similar ideas and beliefs, says Alex Anastasio, D.O., a San Francisco-based psychiatrist. With the pervasiveness of social media across all ages, more attention needs to be given to what it's doing to us as individual users. The endless stream of communication and connection provided by social media is changing the way we think and absorb information. Spending too much time on social media activates herd mentality. This means that you may lose your ability to think for yourself and form your own opinions because you're more likely to go along with what's most popular. Basic human psychology suggests that people have a tendency to conform to their group so that they can fit and be well liked. Over time, the values and beliefs shared by a group become more similar. You can likely see this phenomenon at work in political posts or even in parent groups. Groupthink not only quashes original thought, but can even be dangerous in some cases when the desire for conformity results in exaggerated or irrational decision making. Thanks for watching. If there are any skills you feel should be on this list but it's not, leave a comment, let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing to our channel, and turning on your notifications.